Hi, my name's Michael. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to do when the child protection authorities come to your doorstep. Um, you might think that I'm being a bit paranoid or a bit anti-child protection, but anyone that's ever dealt with them will tell you how bad they are. And don't think it won't happen to you. All it takes is a neighbour to have a grudge against you or anyone and they can ring you, ring up, make a fake complaint, and they, no one ever knows it's them. They're protected, and these people are on your doorstep. And believe me, they are there. They want your kid. So that's rule number one. Don't ever trust them. Rule number two: record, record everything. You, um, you need to keep a diary once, once you're dealing with them, because they are writing things down, and they will distort it. They will make up everything that you say. They will twist to suit themselves. And um, so you need to record it. You need to record the phone conversations. I know in Australia, you're not allowed to record on the phone you're on. You're allowed to turn it on the loudspeaker and use another device to record. Now, you're not allowed to use that recording as evidence in court, but you can transcribe it and um, use that as evidence, and you've got the recording to back it up. Um, record all phone conversations and keep a diary as well everyone that you've spoken to what it was about what time who it was on the phone try and get a reference number and um, yeah just try to say as little as possible um, never go to them for help never ever ever go the amount of people that I've spoken to that have gone to them for help and have had their kids taken they help no one they are there to take your kids Rule number four, um, drug and alcohol issues. Don't ever admit that you've ever even smoked pot. Um, don't even say that you drink once a week. These They will twist this all around. Um, I mean, I don't like to lie, but if it means saving your child's future, do what you got to do. Um they will use, um, they will try to say that you've got mental health issues. Uh, they will accuse you of being a pedophile. Uh, the things you, you know, unless you've dealt with them, and you might think I'm being a bit far-fetched, but um, there's plenty of people with these stories. Now, you need to, even if you don't think you're ever going to have any trouble with them, you adopt a family doctor. And... Um, don't go to the public hospitals. Get your own doctor that when the kids are sick or injured, you always take them there. You build a rapport with them and you've got them on side and they're not going to lie, right? Um, that's a big thing. Domestic violence, violence issues. Pe people that have had domestic violence issues should never go to docs for help. Um, child protection authorities more often than not will blame the mother who reports a father to them for violence for not removing a child from a violent environment and use this as an excuse to remove the child. Everything that you say or do is going to be used against you and um, I'm not exaggerating. There's um, these people, there's not even enough foster carers and they're still taking kids hand over foot there's not enough caseworkers to look after them. So once they've taken them, they can't even handle them. They don't know what they're going to do with them, and they don't care. Uh, your general parenting capacity issues they'll try and use against you. Um, lack of insight due to drug addiction, anger management problems. These kids are taking your, these people are taking your kids, and if you raise your voice, bang, meeting's over. We're not getting anywhere. We're going around in circles. You've got an anger management problem. There, bang, you've got to wait. You've got to do a course, and that'll be another three to six months till you get your kids back. And then they'll say, oh, they've been in foster care. Now they've settled in there. We don't want to upset them. What could upset a child more than getting taken from a home where they've never been abused or neglected and put from stranger's home to stranger's home to stranger's home? My boy was two years old and got shifted to 12 different houses, mate, and he never left my side. You know, these people are animals. You need to be warned about them. I'll, I'll leave that as part one and um, we'll do a part two.